purpose of life is a life of purpose. These are words that have been plastered on the walls of my mom's office since before I could comprehend their significance. What I love most about this quote is how anyone can interpret it differently. I interpret it as a life of purpose is one where you live when you're constantly trying to better yourself as a citizen in society. Throughout my life, I have always strived to be the best possible version of myself. This self-growth would not have been possible without the teachings imposed on me by my mother. She is a compassionate woman who has faced many adversities in life. Her resume credentials are nothing compared to the life experience she has to offer. By getting through these life's challenges, she has acquired vast wisdom that I'm so thankful that she is so willing to pass on to me. Through demonstrations of, of resilience during a divorce, unwavering friendship during the awkward junior high years, and the constant guidance to help me pick the direction that I'm gonna go down in life, she has helped me flourish. My mom has taught me transformative lessons that have shaped me into the well-rounded woman that I am today. As a young and impressionable child, the first lesson that my mom taught me was resilience. When I was four years old, I watched my mom lose her father and become the single mom of two young daughters in the matter of 28 days. I watched her work through devastation, loss, grief, and even pain. At 17 year old, years old, I reflect on this and I see a shattered woman. A shattered woman who refused to show the world all her little cracks. When I put myself back in my cracks at four years old, I see a resilient woman. She continued to be the superwoman for the people who needed her most. She met guidelines at work as if working while in absolute emotional ruins was just no big deal. And most impressively, she helped my Nana work through the physical and emotional burdens of losing her life partner. She is extremely strong, but there were times when she did crack and she would crumble. She would crumble in the arms of my sister and I as we would sit there and hold her as tight as possible. And when she cried out all of her painful tears and the sun rose the next morning, she remained resilient. She was resilient for those who needed her most. She taught me that there are times when we have to be vulnerable, but there are just as many times when we have to be strong and be resilient. Though it was important that I knew how to be resilient, it was equally as important that I understood how to be a good friend and have good friends in times of vulnerability. Around the time that most would classify as the awkward tween years, my mom showed me the importance of friendship. We share a mutual belief that no person, whether you're a boy or a girl, can leave middle school without emotional or physical scars from mean kids. My situation wasn't much different, and many times between sixth and seventh grade, I came home very distraught and crying because I had friends that didn't want me to sit at their lunch table anymore. There were many times where I hoped she didn't come into my room, but one time she did, and I talked to her, and that conversation we had showed me that she understood exactly what I was going through. It wasn't long before she truly became my best friend. I'd often avoid plans with people who would invite me out so that I could just sit on the couch and watch Grey's Anatomy with her. It was refreshing to have a friend who accepted me and loved me unconditionally. During our bonding time, she pushed me and challenged me to see different perspectives in life, and it drove our conversation to be so much deeper than just that surface level, oh, that's funny and I'm gonna braid your hair friendship. Her display of companionship when I longed for that assurance has taught me what it means to be a true friend to people when they need it the most. I am now a better friend to those around me because of the perspective that my mom gave me when I was extremely vulnerable during my middle school years. As friendship is an imperative skill to have for social settings that we live through, it is just as important to have proper guidance in your life to be successful. Most recently, my mom has shown me how significant it is to have a person in your life that can act as a guiding force. This summer, I struggled to find my niche. The realization that hit me as it hit many other seniors that we have 365 days to pick a path that's going to lead us to successful employment. She watched me crumble in my room many times and she understood what I was going through and she understood how hard it was to be able to get over that hump and find your niche. So she sat down and we had very intense conversations. She shared with me her many successes, but most important, she shared with me her failures. She showed me that there were many times when she stumbled and fell flat on her face, but she is still a very successful woman. 
by having these conversations with me, she showed me that there are so many possibilities out there that I can go after as long as I am not afraid to fail. Through allowing me to see her vulnerability, she provided me guidance that I had no clue how to ask for. And I now know that it doesn't make a person weak to ask for help and ask for guidance in life, no matter who it's from. I am the young woman that I am today because of the life-changing effects my mom's wisdom has had on me. At a young age, I watched my mom go through the loss of her father and the divorce from her husband, and she showed me how to have resilience. Soon after learning resilience, I felt vulnerable because I didn't have that many friends, and she showed me how important it was to have a good friend and be a good friend for the people around you. As I grew up, she never stopped teaching me. Recently, I accepted her guidance and understood that it does not make a person weak to say, I need help to get through this situation. I'm constantly using these life skills to better myself in every aspect of life, and most importantly, just as a citizen in society. Watching my mom live her life of purpose has fueled me to live mine.